All right, in this video, we're going to look at different network types and topologies. Don't worry if you don't know what a topology is. You will by the end of the video. Remember, the definition of a network is when you have more than one device connected together. This means networks can come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. First, we'll look at the sizes or types of networks. There are three types we will focus on. They all ran with each other too. We've got WAN, LAN and PAN. First, let's look at WAN. WAN stands for Wide Area Network. This is often a collection of networks that are connected across the world. In the previous video, you found out about the largest WAN. It's called the Internet. Now for LAN. This stands for Local Area Network. This is a network that covers a small area of land, often a building such as a school or office. Finally, we have PAN. Not a PAN, but PAN. It stands for Personal Area Network. This is a network that is in close proximity to a single person. This can be connecting your laptop to your printer or easier, like connecting your phone to headphones. So, that's the sizes or types of networks sorted. Now, let's look at the shapes or layouts. In fact, a better word that we use to describe the layout of a network is topology. There are three you need to know. Bus, ring and star. A bus topology has all devices on the network connected to a main cable. In computer science, we refer to cables that transfer data as buses, hence the name bus topology. Data packets are transferred in both directions on the bus to reach its destination. There are terminators on either end which will stop these data packets from moving back into the bus in order to prevent the bus from getting full. Bus topologies are great because they're very cheap. However, imagine cars moving in both directions on a one-way road. You're bound to get crashes. This is why bus topologies are slow. Next, we've got the ring topology. A ring topology has every device connected to two other devices on the network. The data is transferred in one direction. This is great because it means the data is transferred quickly. However, ring topologies work a bit like a circuit. If one device breaks, you cannot send data across the network anymore. Finally, the star topology. In a star topology, each device is connected directly to something called a hub or switch. We won't go into too much detail at the moment about what these do, but they are used to decide which device it gets to receive or send data first. The direct connection means this is the fastest and most reliable network topology. However, the need for wires means it's the most expensive out of the three. And that's everything you need to know about network types and topologies.